Imagine a world where Linux never became the heart of modern computing. No Ubuntu, no Android, no Debian powering servers across the planet. Instead, BSD Freeps opens and Nets became the foundation of everything from desktops to smartphones. Today, we're diving deep into that alternate timeline. How would open source culture change? Would software be more secure? Would we have fewer distros? And what would big tech companies like Google, Apple, and Microsoft look like in a BSD first world? Let's jump into a world ruled not by Linux, but by BSD. If BSD had replaced Linux as the dominant kernel, the open source world would feel noticeably more controlled and corporate friendly. The defining difference lies in licensing. Linux uses the GPL, which forces anyone modifying the Linux kernel to publicly release their changes. BSD licenses, however, allow companies to modify the code, close it off, and release proprietary products without giving anything back. In a BSD-dominated computing world, corporations would likely take full advantage of this freedom. Apple's MacOS and iOS already use BSD components, and in this alternate timeline, many more tech giants would follow a similar model building closed ecosystems atop BSD infrastructure. Routers, game consoles, smart TVs, and even mobile operating systems might be heavily BSD-powered but locked down with very little community code being returned. Community-driven innovation, the kind that fuels Linux distros, driver development, kernel modules, and massive collaborative projects, would be far smaller. Instead of thousands of contributors pushing rapid development, BSD's culture of tight control and slower, stable releases would spread across the entire open source ecosystem. You might see fewer distros, fewer community forks, and far fewer experimental distributions. Open source would exist but it would feel more like a stable Unix ecosystem than the vibrant, chaotic Linux landscape we know today. If BSD replaced Linux, the desktop environment as we know it would look dramatically different. Linux exploded into the desktop space because it encouraged experimentation. GNOME, KDE Plasma, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, Budgie these environments grew because the Linux community thrives on innovation, iteration, and sometimes even chaos. BSD, by contrast, is deeply conservative. It prioritizes stability over rapid change. In a BSD-first world, desktop environments might evolve far more slowly. Instead of dozens of choices, we might see just a few official BSD-compatible desktops. They would be clean, stable, Unix-like, but not nearly as customizable or experimental. The culture around BSD favors minimalism, reproducibility and caution, which means flashy interfaces like GNOME Shell or KDE's powerful customization features might never fully materialize. Driver and hardware support would also be a major issue. Linux's success on the desktop came largely from massive driver contributions from Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. BSD's slower hardware adoption could mean fewer laptops running open source OSs smoothly. Companies might release their own proprietary BSD-based systems similar to MacOS, but community-driven desktop OSs would be limited. Think fewer distros, slower innovation, and a desktop world that feels more like traditional Unix than modern Linux. A BSD desktop world is stable just not nearly as diverse or dynamic. BSD's biggest strengths, security, stability and clean engineering would shine brightest in a world where it replaced Linux. Freeb's jails, opens legendary focus on correctness and security, and Nets portability would likely define the global server ecosystem. Cloud providers might offer BSD-based platforms with built-in isolation, predictable performance, and rock-solid networking stacks. Security incidents could be fewer. 
opens to the cure by default philosophy might become industry standard. Freebsd ZFS support could dominate storied architectures. Many modern server vulnerabilities linked to rapid via Linux development might not exist at all. But flexibility would be the trade-off. Linux succeeded because it supports everything from supercomputers to Raspberry Pis to smart fridges. Its massive driver ecosystem and fast-moving development model make it perfect for cloud services, embedded devices, IoT, and containerization. BSD's slower pace and smaller developer base may not keep up with the explosion of hardware diversity we see today. IoT might develop slower. Embedded devices might rely more on proprietary OSs. Containerization might be less popular or develop very differently without Linux namespaces and groups leading the way. A BSD-dominated server world is safer and more predictable. But it might miss the flexibility and explosive innovation that Linux brought to the modern internet. A world where BSD replaced Linux would be more secure, more stable, and more controlled but far less diverse, experimental, and community-driven. Linux's openness allowed it to spread everywhere, powering everything from Android phones to the world's biggest supercomputers. BSD offers purity and reliability, but Linux brought velocity and global collaboration. So, which world would you rather live in?